Good morning, YouTube. Random Duck 914 not so epic gaming. Welcome to an unscheduled video, but a video I could not wait to make for you guys. This is a review of Volume. Volume is a game that came out just yesterday on Tuesday, August 18th, for those looking in the future. It is available on the PS4, Microsoft Windows, and OS X. It will eventually be available on the Vita. I would assume that the Vita version is cross by with the PS4 version as is customary with games of this nature. Volume is, was created by Mike Pithel, the same man that created Thomas was alone, and is another hit for the man. Let's go with that, because it's a very fun game. In the game you play as Loxley, a young man, a young British man, in a alternate future from our own, where you are running through simulations of rich bastards. Let's call them rich bastards, because that's what they're referred to later on in the game. Rich bastards, houses, workplaces, places they like, etc., etc. As you attempt to teach people how to break into these locations and steal everything that these rich people have, you're not actually stealing things as they're simulations created by Alan. You hear Alan right now in the background. Alan is a very fun AI. If the voice sounds familiar, you may remember him from Thomas Was Alone as the narrator. He's just as snarky, and I love it. As you run through these simulations, they become progressively more difficult, with more obstacles, more guards, more dangerous guards, in particular more dangerous guards, especially knights. And it becomes a lot of fun, because throughout you find different gadgets. What I just shot there is called an oddity. The oddity will attract any and all guards that see it, as you can see their line, you see the lines that are there sight lines and what they're able to see, it will attract them and they will stare at it and ignore pretty much anything else that happens in the level. I'll show you in one second here. I'm gonna shoot it against the wall. Sometimes aiming can be tricky, we'll talk about that. But I walked over those white tiles, those are, uh, we're gonna call them creek, Creaky Floors, because the first level to show up in is called, I believe, something, it has the word Creaky in it. It was a long time ago now for me. But. They don't care about those at all. Also in the game, you'll find the mute, which you saw earlier, which allows you to run super fast and over white tiles without making noise. It's extremely useful and just a lot of simple fun. Um, the folly, which is another good one, is a trip wire that is electrified and you can trick guards slash guards will just naturally walk into it and they'll get stunned temporarily. The final gadget I'll mention real quick is called the Blackjack. It is basically a dart that will stun any guards for X amount of time, and it also recharges super quick, so it's almost kind of broken. But in the levels where you are given the Blackjack, you usually need it. You usually need like two or three of them at a time. In this level, if you're paying attention while I continue to talk, you will find some fun text and just some fun level design, like all these chairs that are on top of walls. This is supposed to be a house in Alan's world, but Alan unfortunately messed up in his rendering of it. But, you know, that doesn't matter. That adds to the chart. Throughout, you will pick up jewels, which are your only form of collectible, which is mentioned earlier in the game, I believe in the tutorials, about how it's just easier to render one jewel instead of hundreds of different objects to grab, which is a lot of fun, and I don't know if it's just supposed to be in-game, like this is what Alan is saying, or if it was also the development, on the development side of the game saying, you know what, let's just make all jewels, it'll be so much easier. Once you collect all the jewels, you will unlock the exit to the map. I almost got caught right there. I was quite scared. This level I did really good at. It was a lot of fun. Here in a second, when I pick up these last three jewels, that's the exit right there, so I have to go all the way back to where I started. Thanks, game. But that's beside the point. Art-wise, it isn't the prettiest game. Especially during cutscenes, you can see it's... I it might purposely be the art style, 
but it isn't quite the prettiest game, but it's a major step up from Talos' Alone, because Talos' Alone was just blocks. So the fact that there are cutscenes alone is really exciting. Also throughout, you will find read text options, which give you a bunch of backstory on different things, including a nice couple as they are, you know, starting their courtship and whatnot. Darn it, I died again. And you'll pick up all those gadgets. Gadgets do not proceed throughout the levels. As you pick up one in the level, you might not necessarily get it next level. Sometimes you will, if it's one that you just got introduced to, but... A lot of times, it's just random what you need. Whatever was decided would be best for the levels, what you end up getting. And that's great. Sound-wise, the voice cast is amazing. As I already mentioned, Alan is the narrator from Thomas Was Alone. Loxley is a very believable, voice-acted character. I enjoy it. And the really only other person that's voice-acted, Gisborne, who is your main adversary as... You are inside of his system, so to say, as you go through and are trying to show people how to rob some of his richest customers, we'll call them captains, because that's the basic concept of them, that you never run into, you don't run into any of these people ever, but... He is voiced by Andy Circus. Circus. I'm never good at pronouncing his last name, but you know him. He does a lot of motion capture. But yeah, no. The voice cast, amazing. And the voicing is very good. The music is appropriate for the scene. Even just the random sound effects, such as the creaky floors, are fun. Art style in game, it's a very nice looking game to look at. Cutscenes aren't the greatest, as I already mentioned. But the levels are fun. Sometimes they will be a little simplistic, but they are fun. The AI of the game is purposely simple. It's not supposed to be difficult. It's not supposed to be the most impressive AI in the world. It's simplistic AI, but it makes it fun, and it's still challenging. Run! The gadgets are fun. The only one I never really like to use. Actually, you know what? Looking at the list, I liked all of them. All in all, this was a worthy successor to Thomas Was Alone. There's no question about that. I'll toss in one more gadget for fun. Here's the figment. It creates a light decoy of you, we'll say, as it creates a person. I would definitely give volume on the PS4, a 9 out of 10. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. I hope you pick up the game. It's only $19.99, guys. It's a lot of fun. I played all 100 levels day of release. So if you need a game to scratch that puzzle itch that you may have, pick up volume. You won't regret it. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to answer the question of the day in the comment section below. While you're down there, make sure to leave a suggestion on what you'd like to see us do next. If you'd like to keep up with us, you can follow us on Twitter at NotSoEpicGaming. If you'd like to keep up with me and talk with me directly, you can follow me on Twitter at RandomDuck91. Relevant links will be in the description below. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe. And remember, stay epic.